Namaste everyone, welcome. Thank you for being here, thank you for being you. <laughs> so welcome wherever you are around the world. Happy Monday, another day, another week, sorry. <coughs> yes, well another day as well, but another week. So, hope you all had a good weekend. <coughs> Hopefully you got a little bit of rest, relaxation, had a little fun. <coughs> Atlanta, Georgia, welcome. <clears throat> Brazil, Argentina, Brooklyn, New York, Sao Paulo, Brazil, welcome. The Jersey Shore, Aptos, California, Vancouver, California, Las Vegas, out there in the desert. Okay, yes, good morning. Florida, Uruguay, Argentina, Memphis, Tennessee, <clears throat> Cancun, Mexico, <clears throat> Vienna, Cordoba, welcome. Okay. Milwaukee, good to have you with us, thank you. South Dakota, I think all the motorbikes are there this week, aren't they? <laughs> <coughs> Brazil, <coughs> Boston, Santa Barbara, New York, <coughs> upstate New York, <coughs> Austria, welcome, Trinidad, New York, mm, okay, Germany, North Carolina, China, welcome. Puerto Rico, China again, London, Hong Kong, Zurich, Santiago de Chile, Spokane, Washington, Denver, <coughs> celebrating Women's Day in <coughs> South Africa, well, happy Women's Day to everyone, not only in South Africa, but all around the world. Dubai, Dublin, Korea, welcome, San Diego, Korea again, mm, Mexico, Milton, Ontario, <clears throat> Minnesota, Cambridge in the UK, okay, nice city, that one, Korea, Columbia, Island, San Diego, happy Women's Day, yes. Happy Women's Day to everyone everywhere. <coughs> Italy, the Bahamas, Athens in Greece. Okay. <clears throat> I am from Korea, hey. Okay, well, a lot of people from Korea on this morning, either in Korea or around the world. Okay. All right, let's... Uh, get going here. So our topic today is light-hearted, light-hearted, lighten up, huh? You know, as we always say, enlightenment means to lighten up. So, you know, let's have a little bit of fun. So let's um, have a couple of quotes here. The first one is from Hermann Hesse, Hermann Hesse, the writer, and he says, seriousness is an accident of time. It consists of putting too high a value on time. In eternity, there is no time. Eternity is a mere moment, just long enough for a joke. <laughs> okay, so there you go. And then the second one is from uh, Ray Bradbury, the science fiction writer, and he says, the first thing you learn in life is that you're a fool. The last thing you learn, in, the last thing you learn is you're the same fool. Sometimes I think I understand everything then I regain consciousness. <laughs> so, let me read that one again, that's a good one. The first thing you learn in life is that you're a fool. The last thing you learn is you're, is you're the same fool. Sometimes I think I understand everything, then I regain consciousness. So, <laughs> well, hopefully <clears throat> you, um, we're not fools, but, uh, you know, in some sense we are. We all do dumb things, but, you know, don't take it all quite so seriously. 
And I know, you know, a lot of you still have sort of serious things going on in your life, um, challenges and uh, sadness and things like that. But, you know, take a moment just to, to see if you can step beyond that and find some joy, some something to, you know, to laugh about or whatever, even if it's just, I mean, I, I find lots of things to laugh about. Usually it's myself <laughs> because of all the, you know, as, as Ray Bradbury says, you know, the first thing you learn in life is that you're a fool. And <clears throat> so we do so many dumb things that, uh, you know, so learn to laugh at yourself. Don't beat yourself up, but, you know, bring joy and happiness to the world as well. I mean, that's so important. Um, you know, we get so we get so caught up into all the dramas and the melodramas and things like that. So, so just relax. So you know, instead of watching the news, maybe watch some comedy show or something like that. Um, uh, something like that, and just uh, you know, be light-hearted because that's really what it is to to be light, to light. You know, when we're when we're sort of you know in all this sort of chaos and confusion it kind of weighs us down and it's oh you know struggling through life whereas you know really what it is is that lightness remember lightness of being that's really what it is so you know take a few minutes to take a few minutes to just you know tell yourself a joke or think of something funny or whatever it might be and just you know, just just enjoy the beauty of everything that lightens us up as well so be light-hearted don't be so you know, heavy and drawn down into the whole thing. All right, have fun. That's really what it's all about. I mean, the whole the whole of creation was created for fun. You know, the absolute the absolute wanted to experience itself. It wanted to play, and so it created this what's known as the lila. The lila is the play, the play of consciousness. Veda lila, the play of consciousness. But unfortunately, you know, <clears throat> somewhere along the way, we took it all seriously. So. You know, the creator is God, whatever you want to refer to the creator as, is sitting up there in heaven looking at us going, oh no, you know, this was supposed to be so much fun and look what they're, do look what they're doing with it. So, you know, lighten up. All right? So, all right. So why don't we meditate and go to that place of inner joy and the mantra we'll use today is Anandi. Anandi means bringer of joy so that's what that's that's your challenge today is to be the bringer of joy okay so you know bring a little joy into your life and then see if you can maybe bring a little joy into someone else's life you know just 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 i think it's possible okay so let's um let's close our eyes let's take a few breaths Allow your awareness to move within. Allow your body to expand. A light body is an expanded body. What's going on in your mind? Are your thoughts light? Or are they heavy and holding you down? Just see if you can let go of some of those troubling ones, even if it's just for the next few minutes. Just allow your mind to be free. Let the thoughts come and float in and float out. Let's begin silently, effortlessly, repeating our mantra, Anandi, Anandi, Anandi. Bringer of joy, Anandi, Anandi. Allowing that, that joy to awaken from deep inside you. Fill yourself with this joy. Anandi, Anandi, Anandi. And then share the joy with the world. Your lightness, bringing lightness to everyone. Anandi, Anandi, Anandi. Let's just continue like this, just allowing that joy to flow through us, to flow out into the world. Anandi, I'll watch the time.
Still keeping your eyes closed. Let's stop repeating the mantra. Just continue resting, just resting in joy. I'll chant the Mahamritranjaya mantra for health and longevity. Om Triambakam Yajamahe Sukhandim Pushtivadanam Urvarukamiva Bandana Mrityamakshi Amamrita Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Let's together send love, light, and blessings of joy out to the whole world, just unconditionally. Sending love, light, peace, harmony, and joy to everyone. And if there's some sadness or challenges in your life, then please accept this joy from all of us. Let's finish with the four intentions for living a happy, healthy, harmonious life, just repeating them silently after me. Joyful, energetic body. Loving, compassionate heart. Reflective, alert, light mind. And lightness of being. Let's begin to deepen our breathing. Gently moving, stretching the body, easing ourselves into activity, ready for a joy-filled day ahead. And when you're ready, please open your eyes gently. Namaste. Mm, thank you all so much for being here. So. You know, find some joy. Don't take everything quite so seriously. It doesn't mean to say we shouldn't be responsible. We need to be responsible with our lives, with ourselves, with the people around us. But lighten up, have fun. And, uh, you know, on Saturday, was it Saturday? Yeah. Saturday evening, I went to a talk um, here locally by um, a guru from uh, Rishikesh, from Paramat. Nikitan Ashram in Rishikesh, Swami Chidananda Saraswati, who's, I often quote him, and he was with his, um, I guess, I don't know whether she calls herself his assistant, but anyway, his right-hand person, Sadvati. Sad, Sadvati. Um, and she's just written a book. Um, she's American. She uh, grew up in Los Angeles, and she's just published a book called From Hollywood to the Himalayas, about her journey from, you know, being a sort of Western, uh, Western education and going to India 25 years ago and falling in love with, you know, spirituality and staying there. And so it's a nice book from Hollywood to the Himalayas if you're interested in, you know, how a Westerner became totally um, immersed in these. And, stayed light-hearted you know she had her challenges like we all do but she stayed she lightened up and uh, some fun stories there too so anyway so have a wonderful joyful day joyful week um, bring joy to yourself have a bring joy to the world joy to the world <laughs> so true and that's what it's all about Okay, so wonderful. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being you. Have a very safe day. Look after yourself. Look after the world. Spread the joy. Spread the light. Namaste.